life is uh, music life is dance whatever you want to do but live every moment of your life happily to be happy is the uh, best part for you hey! hey! Most kids are afraid to fail. As parents and teachers, we naturally want our kids to succeed. But what if we recognize failure is good and a crucial step on the path to learning? Failure is a necessary component of success. In fact, our brain grows and develops in important ways whenever failure occurs. When kids understand this concept, amazing things can happen for them and for us. Hello and welcome to the Honest Talk by Freak Folks. I'm Harsh Pandey. For this particular session, we have with us very special guest today. Ms Anisha Sharma ma'am she has a rich experience of 32 years in the field of education where she worked as a teacher first for 14 years and then as a principal in various school for 18 years at present she is successfully heading north bengal's day best come boarding school dps siliguri as its principal she is not only a de- dedicated educationist and administrator but also a renowned and professional motivational speaker so first of all ma'am i welcome you to in this session thank you so much for joining and actually agreeing to share your thoughts with us Uh thank you Harsh for inviting me and it's my privilege and honor to be a part of this show. Thank you ma'am it's a pleasure too. So moving to the topic of today's session which we have chosen is why failure is essential to success. So moving to my first question actually while dedicating this podcast to celebrating failure may sound novel their initiative reflects a growing concern among educators globally that our kids are becoming so preoccupied with perfectionism and they are missing out on the deep learning that accompanies failure. Ma'am, my very first request to you is please explain to our viewers why failure is actually essential to success. Uh, it's an amazing topic, and yesterday only when I was talking to my students during assembly, I told them that uh, we all become very happy when we gain success, when we achieve success in life. And uh, I have to teach you how to manage failure. And when I got this topic, this topic uh, fascinated me a lot. because everyone around teaches the success stories they talk yes. about success they celebrate success but it is high time for we educators and the people around to talk to the students to talk to the um, people around about failure and to tell them that it is okay to fail and it is very natural to fail it is human to fail you are not a machine even machine fails correct so it is very obvious that if you are doing something if you are trying something you may fail there are chances that you may fail many times multiple times or more than the other person you may fail so failing teaches you a lot and that is the best teacher i have experienced exactly uh, to my students i always tell them that do not be afraid of trying people do not try because they are afraid of failing so failing is a part of success and i never call that success is the opposite uh, sorry failure is the opposite of success actually it is very much part of success yes. unless and until you fail in anything that means you are sitting idle you are not trying you will never make any mistake if you are not trying anything if you are trying anything definitely you are going to fail so it is high time for us to talk about and to teach the kids and the children that failing is okay you have to be you know um, adopt it and i will not say that enjoy it but take it it very naturally sometimes you may fail sometimes you may get success sometimes you will try and try and try and that that will teach you a lot that will give you a vast experience if i talk about the great personalities who never gave up while trying while moving ahead in the journey of or road of success there are n number of personality if i talk about smriti rani you see where she was she started the from magdi and uh, she has uh, 
turned herself into a great model, the superstar of a small screen, then now politician, a great politician, a great speaker. Exactly. If I have to talk about, I will always speak about Amitabh Bachchan's voice. His voice was rejected. If I have to talk about uh, Thomas Alva Edison, is very, very famous for trying harder and harder and he never gave up. So you should not give up. If you want really to taste a success, you should not lose your zeal and you should not give up. From Ratan Tata to Ambani, there are n number of personalities from Mahatma Gandhi. Everyone, they failed so many times. Even if I talk about Steve Jobs, he was expelled from his own company, exactly. but he never gave up. So through this platform, I want to tell that failing is okay. Indeed, so it actually, is very essential. It is very I think, essential. To I think you have very beautifully described and taken some of the very great examples. And I'm sure the people, those who are watching this session, they are also going to understand this. And my next question to you is, uh, we have seen the most parents of high schoolers in the India and other countries know all too well, uh, all too well the pressure children holds or place on themselves to get the highest GPA, JE need. SAT or board score they possibly can. I see nothing inherently wrong with children striving for excellence and wanting to win an increasingly competitive world. Everyone has a plan after achieving success, but if one fails by mistake, then how do we need to deal with failure? No one talks about that. Do you support the idea of celebrating failure as we do in case of success? Do you think that in today's words, parents and teachers need to understand that it's okay to fail and stop comparing and putting societal pressures on child? See, now I have seen as an educator, I am into this field from last uh, three decades. And I have seen that uh, they focus, all the parents focus on grades, marks. Nobody talk about failure and they think it is very unnatural. I want to tell that it is very natural to fail. We should not put the students uh, into the box where only success stories are uh, mentioned. And we don't accept failure. Actually, they feel shy to tell that they fail. Failure is uh, failure and success, I should say, are the two sides of same coin. Mm. All the parents, they have lot many expectations from the students. And this is the first failure that they start comparing. They start comparing uh, between the siblings, which is very wrong. You cannot compare two identity uh, in the same scale. One way may be sharp in studies, the other may be sharp in music. Exactly. So they may have every person, every child is unique. And they may have different uh, interests and uh, abilities, caliber, hobbies. Everything can be different, though they belong to same parents. But the comparison spoils. We need to teach them that you have to compete with yourself. Where right. you are today, you have to go higher than that. So we do not have that. And good parenting is very much important. Talking to the parents regarding failure is important. Calling the parents and telling them that it is okay. You have to encourage the students and you need to find out the reason why they failed. There may be so many reasons of failure. Maybe the student is very sharp, but he was not well during the examination time or maybe he might be going through any mental trauma maybe he is under anxiety or maybe the environment of the house may be due to broken house or maybe due to the domestic violence taking place at home he is not comfortable and he is not able to focus so there may be multiple reasons of failure right we need to find out what is the reason of their failure we need to encourage them and that is not the end of the life or end of the road that after that they cannot achieve. If this was so, then uh, we would have not got so many success stories. If I talk about uh, Shiv Khera, you know, he yes. failed. If I talk about Hema Malini, she failed. So there are, the list is very long of the failures, but they never gave up. So we need to see this are the live examples. This is not a fairy tale where we are mentioning a fake name or any imaginary name. 
So there are so many examples and we as parents and teachers need to motivate the students, try to find out what, where the lacuna is, what the reason is, and to teach them how to manage failure. If we will not talk about, talk about fail, failures, then there are uh, chances of the students giving up. Right. Giving up, giving up their life even. Yes. So we have to be very cautious. These days, the resistance has gone so down that they are not able to handle one single failure in life. So it is the time now to teach them that enjoy your failure because you are on the road to success. You are on the road to success. Indeed, ma'am. Actually, you have mentioned very concrete reasons and discussed this in very detail. I'm sure the people, those who are watching this session, they are also going to understand its importance. And all we have is that the amazing fantasy about the life that this is the things how should work. But it's okay if we fail. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to cry. We need to understand and we need to actually work on the mental health. And my next question to you is actually it's an ironic question because what do you want to be when you grow up is a question that we are constantly asked as kids and are expected to have an answer for how in the world is kids supposed to know what he or she truly wants to become when they haven't even stressed the surface of life itself. It's ironic, isn't it? I don't think because uh, I know the importance of goal setting. I know the importance of you know, unless and until uh, the child is aware what he is interested in, what he wants to be in future. So it is very important when they are in uh, ninth class that they choose a path where they want to go. Um, unless you have uh, a goal, how you are going to travel ahead? aimlessly you will be going on and when you are 11th I've seen that the students sometimes they come when it is time for them to choose the stream they are you know very much confused sometimes they choose science then they uh, withdraw that they go go for commerce so they should have a goal setting and the parents can help the child in goal setting, the peer can help the friends, relatives, anyone can guide them that you are very sharp in this, you are very good at this. So it is a kind of guidance. It is a kind of road map for them to set a goal because uh, Arjun was able to set a goal, therefore he achieved the highest, uh, you know, um, he was declared, I should say, that he is the best in archery. Uh, when uh, this Dronacharya, along with all the students, he was standing and he asked everyone to uh, hit the eye of the bird. It was only Arjun who was able to see the eye of the bird. Rest saw the leaves and the sky and the fruits and the branches. And it was only Arjun who knew how to hit because he was very much focused. So it is very important to set a goal before you go ahead with your life. So I don't think there is any problem in setting goal and uh, choosing the path. So I differ with that. Okay, that's okay. And my next question to you is actually, uh, we also have seen is that society has molded us in such a narrow one dimensional way of thinking because we were raised to believe that the only way to prosperity and was to choose a career path and work our way up that ladder. Don't you think we always encourage to chase money and job titles, but never push to evaluate and consider what we want our actual lifestyle to look like? Uh, it is really uh, a paradox why uh, people talk only about the job title, about the package, and uh, you know how much we are going to get. So before you are uh, getting a job, your focus is how much the salary will be, yes. what the package will be, what the CTC will be. Right. If you choose this, you will be earning so much. If you choose this, you will be earning so much. So we only talk about money. We only talk about how much you're going to earn in your life. So we are very much away from the moral values and the overall development of the personality. We even ignore the interest of the child. If suppose he is very much interested to be an artist, to be a writer, we will uh, force them towards, you know, medical engineering, all this glamorous job. So it's not good to talk always about money. It is not money for me. 
it is the whole personality of the child that they are taught uh, to leave for the community even we need to focus on community services we need to tell them the importance of their contribution uh, in the development of the nation whether it is economy or anything else okay. whether it is sports or anything so we need to develop the personality holistic education says the overall development you should okay. grow uh, you know physically mentally socially emotionally spiritually development is very important the personality is important the character building is very very important empathy okay. is important and um, caring kindness gratitude nowadays we don't talk about gratitude we get uh, if suppose we get a small car we are aspiring for a higher car if we are living in a uh, two uh, bedroom set we want to shift into a bungalow so this luxury has become a part of uh, life yes. so i don't think that this is the right way of bringing the student we should always tell them about the growth about the personality of their uh, and through thought process how they think they become the way they think so thinking should be developed that if you are into this universe run if you are not able to run walk if you are not able to walk crawl but contribute if you are into this planet you contribution to the society is important right first your family then towards your neighborhood then towards the society and state and at a large nation international level you have to contribute so each one of us should contribute i'm not saying that uh, be uh, you know go and watch the border i'm not saying to go and work there or be a cricketer be sachin or be lata mangeshkar i am not saying but in your level if you are able to switch off the lights you are close the tab when it is not used you are contributing to save the soil to save the conservation to uh, save environment to save earth so this small and little things are very very important so i think this is what we need to uh, teach the coming generation mm -hmm. and in that way they will understand their responsibility towards the society and nation indeed ma'am keeping no, india clean is very important yes. <laughs> growing plants are very important uh, telling them the uh, disadvantages of cutting the trees is very important so this little things will help the nation to grow indeed ma'am i think actually you have a defined this very well and you have given a very great message and i'm truly very impressed from your this answer ma'am and my next question to you is actually this is a very sensitive question india has one of the world's highest suicide rates among youth according to the asojam survey 72% of the students in india don't know how to handle pressure suicide so common among school and colleges students so what do you think what are the major possible and concrete reason behind it see number one i see in every one hour one uh, society uh, suicide take place in every one hour one student uh, first of all i think uh, the resistance level has gone down so that is the main problem uh, the social media is the other one they waste their time in the creating social media reputation is very important for them they that is the virtual world they should understand that it is very very different from the world of real so they are spending most of the time into the virtual world and virtual friendship is very very um, you know into fashion these days yes. so it's they good. have to come out of it they are addicted to it nobody is telling them the pros and cons of social media so that is one reason the other reason they are not able to uh, manage the failure that is one unemployment poverty then uh, uh, you know this relationship today they are into one relationship then that is broken then tomorrow yes. again into one new relationship then they are not able to manage the relationship right. they are not able to understand what loyalty is what honesty is and exactly what love is 
they are into the world of infatuation and they think that it is love that is the just attraction towards opposite sex exactly. so there are so many reason for but for youth it is uh, not getting job on time after getting the degree of you know mba even they are unemployed so this is one of the reason the broken family is one of the reason nobody is uh, thinking about the child in a broken family neither the mother nor father they are into their world uh, parents are not given uh, giving sufficient time to the students to groom groom them properly to tell them the importance of strong relationship they are not uh, you know giving them sufficient time once they come from office either tv uh, remote or mobile is there into that so the bond strong bonding between the children and the parent the depression the anxiety all has gone to the next level and uh, this youth they are not able to manage all these things so there are so many reason they are not able to meet the expectation of their parents there, that is also one of the major reason of suicide so it is sad to see and uh, when i was just going through i saw that mainly this happens in metro city right so whether it is uh, maharashtra tamil nadu all this delhi so bangalore all the cities the suicide takes place uh, one of my husband's friend uh, Uh, in uh, that family also she was in ninth standard and twice the mother said you go and uh, complete your homework on the third time when she said she that girl went and she ended her life so the resistance has gone to this level well they, we can't say anything to them we have to uh, think 100 times before we talk to the youth so things are very very you know challenging now how to handle this youth that is the most ch- challenging and the toughest thing to and the parents and the teachers need to groom the child to tell them that life is very precious and you cannot end it for all the silly reasons indeed ma'am you have actually discussed some of the very concrete reasons and i'm happy that you have discussed in length and ma'am i can say there is a lot more to understand learn from you but today i don't want to take too much of your time so moving to my last question and actually this is also a very sensitive question because we have seen youth is a time of enormous energy a lot of youth are in confused state of mind as you have mentioned the youth of today's generation need clarity and balance they have become the victim of social media information overload everywhere there is a compulsion they are addicted to smoking alcohol drugs and gruesome video materials there has been substance abuse like never before my last question to you is what are the small efforts we can bring or practice to bring an awareness among the youth just to remind them of their enormous energies how to balance them and lead their life well yes i very much agree harsh that uh, they are the hub of energy and if we will not channelize the energy it will be very difficult so i would suggest just so many things are there that if they love traveling they should go uh, for the traveling they can write blog related yes. to traveling their pictures that is the fantastic thing they can do they can be a good writer one of the student of ask could only is in 10th standard and he write uh, started writing uh, if you love uh, greenery you can go for a small garden you can take care of the plants and you can be with plants you can spend some time in exercise or meditation which is very very important it is very tough to begin the exercise you should gradually start with 5 minutes 10 minutes and you should go on increasing the time practice yoga and meditation which will help you and it will change your entire perception towards life so the best thing is yoga i think that will keep you fit and that will help you to balance your body mind and the spirit so uh, it is very important for the you to uh, try something very small uh, things like this like um, maybe the they can be a blogger so uh, they can uh, they are full of uh, new ideas novel ideas but they always they want to be in comfort zone uh, comfort zone and they don't want to come out of they don't want to be uncomfortable and unless and until you are uncomfortable you cannot achieve anything in your life you have right. to move out of your box 
thing and go ahead with that you can do anything as vivekanand said that uh, if you want you can do anything and everything so i also believe that you has so much of power so many novel ideas they are full of but nobody is encouraging them if uh, you want to sing go ahead make your own uh, uh, youtube channel that is the best way if you will make your own channel you, you can see all the mummies uh, cooking and posting their videos right. of cooking so that you can go ahead uh, you can uh, be a dancer if you love uh, dancing make your youtube channels and work on it so uh, through this uh, new technology you can do so many things and you can earn money also you can be very famous also so there are so many ideas we need to uh, give them a path we need to understand their vision we need to show them uh, the path that will lead them towards success and to utilize their time properly they do not know how to if you love cycling go for cycling so you can any any of the star or heroes can be your inspiration pick up read read lot many books and uh, you can be one of the famous personalities you can be one so channelize your energy utilize that and life is uh, you know for me life is discipline uh, life is resolve uh, life is uh, uh, energy full of energy life is uh, music life is dance whatever you want to do but live every moment of your life happily to be happy is the uh, best part one can do if you have experienced failure if you love music go for uh, listening to music for 10 to 15 minutes that will give you lot of energy if you want to uh, practice meditation go for meditation all the rishi munis in india they used to uh, manage their temperature you know through yoga and meditation so there is lot many things to learn about if you love to read about medicine there are so many hubs you can like ramdev baba you can see and uh, Uh, from where he has uh, reached to that level through yoga through uh, this ayurveda so you can try anything creativity and imagination will lead you to the highest level of your life uh, if you love uh, painting try painting go for your own paintings exhibition so if you are not good at studies nothing to worry about indeed actually no this is a great that we are actually embracing these kind of a things apart from the studies students have lot to do they have a great potential and they can explore many yeah. different fields as well and thank you so much ma'am for being with for this session and it was a great healthy discussion with you on the topic and we will look forward to conduct more such session with you in future thank you ma'am 100% i love talking to you and giving and sharing my ideas with the youth i know they they can change the world we the the whole nation is looking at them at them the parents are looking with prayers the teachers are looking at them with uh, pride and um, uh, the nation is looking with hope and they can change the world so all the best to the youth uh, try something new be optimistic and that will take you uh, through optimism you can reach to the highest level i think so think positive and you will experience positive result indeed actually thank you so much ma'am it was a healthy and lovely talking to you thank you ma'am my you. pleasure has my pleasure bye ma'am bye and on the ground is where i stand never give up that was always the plan it's so cold outside i'm alone